Steve, we've just held the uh, club's press conference, joint press conference with yourself and uh, Ian. A um, difficult one for you, but uh, and a disappointing one, I'm sure. Yeah, very disappointed. You know, I, I got a tremendous amount of affection for Ian. I think he's done fantastic things for us as a football club. Um, I'm gutted, really, to see him go. Uh, but I think probably, as we've discussed at length, it's right now it's probably the right thing for us as a, as a club. You know, I think Ian... It, 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 as he's mentioned down there, you know, he's, he's, he's tired, he feels that everything's not going the way he needs it to go for him to be successful in the next two or three months where we desperately need points and he's, he's desperate for us to try and stay in this division and, and, and give it a good go. So, as I said downstairs, an honourable, noble man who's, who's, who's made a decision in the best interests of a, of a football club, something that probably might, you know, maybe never happened before, you know, he's, he, it's that unusual a, a thing to happen he said that he recognised during the second half it came to him on and with the performance against Fulham on Monday night after that game there were a series of meetings weren't it did you have you, done your utmost to try and turn that decision of his around yeah I mean I, Ian would have stayed you know if I'd have actually said Ian you've got to stay of course he would have done that you know but you know, you, you you need you need it's a two way you know you need we, we, we're working it through you know I need the conviction and the you know, I really believe that I can make a difference, you know, in the next couple of months. And, you know, he, he wasn't quite there, you know. Even we got, you know, you're talking, you kind of get there that, that he's going to maybe stay. And he, he wasn't quite there, you know. So um, uh, we decided that we, that we couldn't, couldn't do it. And, and uh, he's gone honourably with his head held high, having achieved a fantastic thing for our football club. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be in touch with him, and I hope, forever, and, and I wish him well. Um, it just, it just, you know, it, 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 it's lasted a certain amount of time, as these things do, shorter than we would have hoped. But there you are, you know, we, we, we move on from here. The challenge now is to find someone new. And, of course, those images of Ian representing Crystal Palace at Wembley on the playoff final day, they're obviously down in the uh, books of history for this football club, and uh, it's a great achievement for him to go with him. Yeah, and I know he'll get a fantastic reception whenever he comes back to the club, you know, and, he, he probably didn't have a bond with the club when he came, but he has now and he understands everything that we're about and he, he buys right into it and, and he cares about us and I know he'll be looking out for our results and who knows where this journey of football goes. You know, maybe we haven't seen the last of him. You know, I certainly hope to work with him again one day and um, I think, we, as I said in there, we, we, there's a lot of things that we should have done to help him more uh, as, a, as a club and unfortunately we couldn't. So, yeah, definitely uh, he's in our history books. Fabulous achievement um, and, and a warm welcome for him any time he comes back. And of course, uh, the Premier League adventure continues for us on Saturday against Arsenal and uh, the man in charge for that day. Yeah, Keith Millen will take charge and Keith, obviously, as we all know, is a great lad. I know he'll give it his all. Um, you know, he's, he'd already spoken about a game plan with Ian at the beginning of the week. You know, I'm sure he might put his own little mark on that, what he thinks to do. He's very much the man at the helm for now and, uh, you know, we've got to all get behind the team and get behind him and, and hopefully we can get a decent outcome against Arsenal on Saturday.